President Uhuru Kenyatta's nominee for the position of Inspector General of Police, Joseph Kipchu Chirboynet, was today vetted by the National Assembly and Senate Joint Standing Committee on National Security. Boynet told the committee that he would fast-track completion of the ongoing police reform process to ensure an efficient and corruption-free police service. Lawmakers Yusuf Haji and Asmama Kamama, who chaired the session, spiritedly defended Boynet when some members questioned the authenticity of his academic qualifications. Boynet defended himself by saying that he obtained his first degree online. Patrick Amimo has more on the proceedings. Joseph Kipchirchir Boynet, a career policeman who joined the intelligence service in 1998, appeared before parliament for a vetting process to determine his suitability for the position of inspector general of police. He told lawmakers that he is of small physique compared to the former police boss David Kimayo, whom he wants to succeed. He has also been described as soft and reserved. Boynet says he is equal to the task and will deliver. He was one who is very kind, person, humble, a nice guy. But you are set to go to lead an institution whose work culture has been that of impunity, corruption, sabotage on daily basis. And as much as you have the values, you have the vision and what it takes to lead this institution, how do you think you will succumb to over 50 years of such kind of culture? It is indeed true, but that is the phase that you see. Behind that, it's a very hard man. Over the years, the police has always been ranked tops or corruption indices. Members wanted to know whether Boynet will end the vice and give the service a clean image if appointed the new police boss. Corruption is a threat to national security. I plan to be very, very firmly with corruption. Boynet has two master's degrees, one in security management and another in diplomacy. He says he also recently completed a course in security policy analysis from Australia. Some members questioned credibility of Boynet's academic credentials and even differed with the chairpersons of the Joint Parliamentary Committee who appear to shield Boynet from divulging academic information about institutions he studied abroad. Is it true that your first degree was from St. Paul's University? I'm mean, allowed to transfer credit for high school diploma, which I don't think he has, a trade certificate, polytechnic, and the independent student, blah, blah. And then he got some uh, academic credit to us that. So I would like him to, to verify and clear the air. So I feel even that question, when it was actually asked by Mr. Majuguna, it was not clear. So actually, since he's here, why can't he also tell us? Because even me, down the line, I recall 40 years, I can recall the primary school I went, secondary school I went, all that. Boynet ruled out any possibility of insubordination from officers in the service who are his senior should he be confirmed to the position. He have acknowledged the existence of mistrust and suspicion between the police and intelligence service. Cattle wrestling is the other teething security concern that Boynet would address once in office. The Joint Parliamentary Committee will compile a report for debate in the National Assembly and Senate where members will vote to either confirm or reject Joseph Boynet's nomination. Patrick Amimo, KTN.